Okay, so we are going to talk today about Facebook and actually utilizing Facebook to reach your target audience. And so you might be saying to me, well, Krista, how do I actually reach my target audience? How do I actually get in front of the right people that want to see me? Who am I trying to get in front of? Now, here's the deal. Whether you're a late mortgage professional or a real estate agent or any kind of professional at all, I would ask you the exact same question. And the question is, who are you trying to reach? Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. Who are you trying to reach? Who is your client avatar? Now, when I talk about a client avatar, let me explain to you what a client avatar is. And I love your heart. You guys are so great. And why a client avatar is so, so important to really identify who your client avatar is. A client avatar is your ideal person that you would like to work with, that you would like to do business with. Who, what age they are, what income do they have, what are their interests, what are their hobbies, what do they, um, where do they work, what are they like, what are they doing, what age range are they, are they married, are they single, are they educated, are they, are they not, are they entrepreneurial, who exactly are you trying to go after? Now, why is this so important as a mortgage professional, as a lender, as any type of professional, or quite frankly, any business at all, why is this so important? Because once you can identify who your client avatar is, what that person looks like, then at that point, guess what happens? You start creating your marketing messages, your materials, everything that you produce replicates who you're trying to go after. So let me give you an example. Um, and again, you can have different, you can have more than one client avatar, which also kind of goes back into our niches. Remember, the riches are in the niches. If you're in a business and you're trying to go after the entire world, you're not going to be as effective as if you just go after a certain segment of that of the world or a certain segment of that population. For example, let's just take real estate because you guys know I'm in real estate. You know, I'm a real estate coach. Let's just take real estate as an example. There are so many types of people that I can go after in real estate, right? I can go after first time buyers, millennials. I can go after seniors. I can go after a certain um apartment complex, a certain community. I can go after people that are single moms, people that are divorced. I can go after doctors or alert or attorneys. I can go after people that maybe want to move up and or maybe the people that want to move out of state, maybe people that are moving in state. Now, let me ask you a question and think about this really, really, uh, really, really strongly in relation to your own profession, your own niche, your own client avatar. If I'm really wanting to focus on working with millennials, or first time buyers, is it gonna be the same marketing message that I'm gonna put out there if I'm trying to go after people that might be moving up or people that might be um, retiring in a certain community? It's a completely different message. It's a completely different co copy that I use. It's a completely different pictures that, I, that I'd use. I'd be giving information and value onto completely different subjects now, wouldn't I? Now here's the thing, if I'm trying to go after seniors and I'm not, Gearing my marketing message to seniors, or if I'm trying to go after millennials and my marketing message is speaking to seniors, then I'm wasting my marketing dollar, right? I'm not really laser focusing on my marketing message. Therefore, I'm not attracting the right client. I'm not attracting my client avatar. So it's really important when you're trying to use Facebook targeting and going after the right audience, whether it's Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or, or even a, writing an article in the newspaper or on your blog, you need to be laser focused on who your client avatar is, who you are trying to be in front of, what message you want to convey to them, what you want them to feel, to think, to hear, how you want them to respond to you. And it all boils back down to who our client avatar is. Who are we niching to? So in order for me to answer those questions, you need to ask yourself, who are they? Who are you trying to go after? Where do they live right now? Where are they gonna live in the future? Do they work at home? Do they work outside of the home? You know, what are their interests? What activities do they like to participate in? You need to know everything and anything about them. Are they parents? Are they grandparents? Do they have children, right? Are they married? Are they not married? Are they newly engaged? Are they newly wed? Are they newly pregnant? Are they newly parents? Okay, you wanna know every single thing about the traits, the lifestyle, the interests, then the non-interests, 
about the person that you're trying to go after. And again, this is going to save you so much money, right? In your marketing, what pain points are they going after? What are their needs? What's gonna make them happy? What tips and tricks can you give to them to make their life easier and to make their life great? Now let me tell you something. If you're trying to service millennials or first time buyers, they're gonna have completely different pain points than somebody who is retiring or somebody who is, is wanting to live in a 55 plus community. For example, what kind of things are seniors thinking about? They might be thinking about, how am I gonna move all my stuff? Where can I find help? You know, um, am I gonna be able to afford it? Is, am I gonna make enough money for this? Where is there gonna be an environment where there's gonna be more people like me? That's a different message completely and entirely than if I'm going after a first time buyer. Their questions are, uh, and again, this is just related to real estate right now, but their questions are, how much money do I need? Do I need good credit? How long should I have been at my job? Do I need a realtor or not? Do I get a loan first? Can I even afford this? Is there a tax write-off? Those are completely different questions and concerns and comments and, and uh, copy and tact and answers and questions that the millennial will want versus the person moving into a retirement community. Does that make sense? So you need... If you're trying to say to me, Krista, how do I reach my audience on target? How do I get the best and most bang for my buck when I'm marketing and use, utilizing my ads manager account? I'm gonna say to you, who is your audience, right? Who are you trying to go after? And we're gonna ask all those wonderful questions. And I've got a great PDF below that will help you identify who your client avatar is, what they want, what their interests are, their needs, their likes, how you can utilize this worksheet to help save you money, reach more people and just say, yes, Krista, I want it. Oh, you're welcome, Lee. Lisa, thanks for everything you do for us. I appreciate that. Um, so I want you to be able to, to say, yes, I want that. I'll send it to you. And it's going to really help you define who you're going after. Now, here's the thing, whether you're in real estate or you're an attorney or an accountant or you're doing nails or hair, your marketing message is going to be completely different than everyone else's. And the person that you're trying to attract is going to be very different than everyone else's. Let me give you an example. I recently was going to get my extensions put back in. I didn't do it because I, you know, I don't need to. It's bad for my hair. But I went to the to the girl and I said, "Oh, do you know, um, will you, you know, can you color my hair?" And she goes, "Nope. I just specialize in extensions. That's all I do. Just extensions." And she is super busy. So her marketing message, the videos that she puts out there, the ads that she runs, are all about extensions. She's not talking about coloring hair because she refers you to somebody else. Another great example, there's a photographer, Steve and I just recently went and we had our, we had our 10 year anniversary. And so we went to take pictures back at where we were, um, we were, we got, did our engagement pictures. And I had called, um, I called this wonderful uh, person that did my daughter's pictures for her, for her when she graduated. And, and she said, Hey, I just specialize in this. I don't do anything else. And so, I called somebody who specializes in just working with people, couples, right? That's her specialty. Her marketing message is going to be totally different. Now, let's just think of if there was a photographer that was trying to go after everyone, right? I mean, they could be going after babies, seniors that are graduating, newlyweds, newly divorced, right? Uh, single portraits, marriage, I mean, so many different things. And they can't market to all those. They can't reach all those people. So when you're really, really laser focused on who you're marketing to, what their needs are, their desires are, their interests are, their likes, their dislikes, where they work, where, what they love to do, what they hate to do, your marketing message and what you're producing can go directly after them. Let me give you another example, okay? I don't know if you guys know this, but I wrote this book called Fire, all right? And this is a book basically that teaches um, anybody and everybody, anybody, no matter what phase of life you're in, how to figure out what you love to do, right? What, what, what your passion is, and then how to take that passion and turn that passion into um, a business, and then it teaches you how to market and monetize that business. Well, I also wrote this book, Sell 100 Homes a Year. This book is specifically geared towards real estate agents, and now we're, we're making one, it's a little blurry there, we're making one now that specifically is geared towards lenders, but I decided at one point that, man, it's gonna be really difficult for me to go after the entire world, okay, because my marketing message is gonna be all over the place. So I really made it laser focused to really put my marketing message towards realtors and mortgage professionals. So I niched 
This way now, I know exactly who I'm going after, what their needs are, what their interests are, what their likes are, their desires are, how I can help them, what marketing message is going to make them say, hey, pick me, I want to watch this, right? Now, if I just went after everyone, thank you guys for the hearts, if I just went after everyone, I would be a hot mess and wouldn't know what to talk about, what not to talk about, how to laser in, and my marketing dollar would not be very well spent. Okay, so I chose to also niche in, just like I'm telling you to do. My focus is helping real estate agents and lenders, mortgage professionals, how to take their business and blow it up, right? Who is your client avatar? And I love when you guys give me the hearts, it makes me realize that you're listening. Who are you trying to go after? You really need to figure that out. And comment below and I will give you an awesome worksheet that's gonna help you figure out who your client avatar is, how you can really hone in on their likes and their dislikes and their interests to reach them so that you have a more effective marketing message so that you then are more likely to attract clients wanting to work with you based upon giving them what it is that they need and want, if that makes sense. So just say yes below, I will get those over to you guys. And you, I just wanna let you know how much I appreciate you guys watching this and being here and supporting me, it means the world. Um, thank you so, so much, and I am here to serve and help. So anything that you need, just let us know. We will we will make content um, on it, and we'll get that message out to you. Also, I've got an amazing uh, two-and-a-half to three-hour live training on some content that I've never, ever gone over before. We want to invite you to that. Chelsea, if you can put the link down below, that'd be great. It's August 7th, and we are going to be really diving deep into – how to really figure out how you can take your business and explode it and expand upon it. We're gonna talk about the different phases of the sales cycle and how you need to make sure that you know about all the different phases of the sales cycle so that you don't get left in the dust no matter what uh, industry you're in. But we really are gonna be focusing on teaching you the phases of the sales cycle and also how to, for you to stand out and get past and move past barriers that have been holding you back. So we'd love to see you there for August 7th. Just comment below, say yes, I'll get you that PDF. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day. And when you do what you love, people love what you do. To hear more about us, how we can take your business and catapult it to the next level, please just go to kristamayshore.com slash help. Uh, again, that's kristamayshore.com slash help. Or just go to our Krista Mayshore um, page either on Facebook or on uh, the internet, and we will get you in touch with one of our business success coaches. So as always, take care. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.